Hey, Miss Karen and Miss Harley, it's Dave, and this is Kyle. Uh, we wanted to leave you a message because you guys both left before we really got to say goodbye to you. I mean, that's okay, I understand. Um, but we wanted to really tell you how much we appreciated you this year. You know, uh, you two really just put up with all the goddamn shit that me and Kyle did. And you're two of the best teachers that I've ever had and that I will ever have. And I'll make sure that I come back and visit as much as I can, regardless of whether you want me or not. You know, we had a lot of fun this year. You invited me and Kyle to your Christmas party. I don't know why you expected us to just come to your Christmas party, but we did. I mean, it was an open air for us. We really thought Mrs. Uh, McGlynn and Mr. McGlynn get kind of drunk. And that's okay, though, because you know what? They're over the age of 21. They can drink as much alcohol as they want. But, you know, I really just appreciated that you guys never got us expelled. We, we really could have been expelled. Um, <laughs> I want to also tell you that just make sure you stay the same. Do not give in to people like you gave in to me and Kyle. We are, I mean, we're about, obviously be the same to me and Kyle when we come back and visit because we're goddamn awesome. But anyone else, treat them like shit if you want to. I don't care. Make sure that you do not let Ross Bowser come into the class. I hate that piece of shit. I really do. And, I mean, I guess if he ever gives you any trouble, if he's ever talking about smoking weed in front of your daughter, Mrs. Haverly, or if he's ever talking about snorting crack or something like he always thinks it's cool to, I'm going to give you, I'm going to lay out the number. My number is 330-314-3397. And that's my cell phone number. If I don't answer that, my other number is 330-799-6779. You can hit me up at either of those numbers, and I'll be here faster than you can say Pancake Supreme. And trust me, I'll make his nose a little bigger than it already is. You know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. Seniors! Hell yeah. Kyle, go ahead and take the mic, bro. All right, I'm going to start with you, Miss Haverly, because I had you first freshman year. You've been a wonderful teacher ever since freshman year. You've only written me about six white cards, but you know, that's about half as many as most teachers have written me, so I'll take it. You've been a great teacher to me this year, and I appreciate your jean skirts. You have wonderful jean skirts. Um, We're not making fun of them, we just think the word jean skirts is kind of funny. Jerts, jerts is this. That's but what the cool kids call them. You're a great teacher, Miss Heavily. Never change. Me and Dave, when we're successful one day, or when we're homeless, either way, we're still gonna bother you guys. And on to you, Mrs. Kinnick. You're a wonderful lady. I enjoyed you in computer apps, too. In fact, so much, I decided to take computer apps one. So, that was wonderful. I love that you let us say goddamn whenever we wanted. All you would do is yell at us and say, quit saying goddamn, you goddamn idiots. But, you know, you were a great teacher. Like Dave said, we had fun at your Christmas party. We met lots of cool people, like your son's hot girlfriend. And your, uh, your friends, uh, I don't know, Carrie and uh, Jeannie, or whatever her name was. And we also met we also met Bernie and Helix. Well, Ms. Harvey and Mr. Kinnick, we're gonna send it off now because we gotta get home and we gotta go party it up because we're seniors. We're gonna we're go. We're gonna do tons of marijuana. Don't worry because it's legal now here. We're gonna go. My house. We're gonna go to the public library all night and read as many books as we can. So we'll see you guys later. Seniors, seniors, do it.